Hello, that's me, Dom Jolly. I'm in my expensive private drinking club. That's my best friend Pete. Do you remember you bought all those DVDs of my comedy shows? Well, sadly, the money's run out now, so I've got to start working on TV again. Pete and I will be driving from London through Belgium, Germany and Austria to Prague, investigating what makes the rest of Europe such sophisticated drinkers. In the early 90s, Pete and I used to live in Prague. Look, here are some pictures of us back then. Cool, weren't we? On our road trip, we'll pop into Belgium. Our channel has only allowed us one day to film in Belgium because they don't think it's a proper country. The whole country? Yeah. One day? Drive gently through the German countryside. It's like PlayStation, but you can die. Yeah. And recite poetry on mind-altering absinthe. Sorry, I can't cope. <laughs> Day one and we set off for Belgium. I felt the need to warn Pete that this wasn't just some free boozing holiday. We were journalists and there were certain things the channel would expect. We're gonna have to raise our game a little bit on this. How do you mean? On this, I think the Sky are gonna want a bit of a emotional journey because we're retracing a journey we've already done. I think they're gonna be looking for sort of emotional troughs and peaks and ups and downs and we, what emotional like we get excited and let it go let it all out i think this could be an emotional free for all journey okay well let's be really? european on this one okay. yeah not british all right let's all let right. it go I'll, yeah. I'll follow your lead it's right? good for the ratings yeah when we lived in prague pete and i shared a cutting edge white golf but the channel have really gone overboard and got us a brand new jam On this journey, we're like two captains of industry, cruising across Europe with the aid of sat-nav and a boot full of cash. Our first destination was the much misunderstood country of Belgium. Belgium gets a very bad rap, but um, it's actually one of my top three countries in the world. It's fantastic, it's got Magritte, um, Tintin, Jacques Brel, Plastique Bertrand, I mean, it's got a lot of cool people coming from it, and it's kind of a bit twisted and surreal. I think something like, I don't know, you need a tagline for it, don't you? Like, Belgian, it's not shit. Our first stop in Belgium was beautiful Bruges, Belgium's beer capital. It's the kind of picture-perfect chocolate box European city where women randomly give other women flowers and kiss each other on impulse. <laughs> Bruges is where the discerning beer connoisseur heads to sample Belgium's finest designer beers. It's also got great hotels, where many a famous head has rested after a beery night. This is where Stephen Fry uh, stayed when he had his little episode oh. and had to run away and hide. And come to terms with himself. Yeah. In fact, Stephen Fry doesn't appear to be the only celebrity who stayed here apart from myself. Look here. To oh. all at the Orangery, thank you for your wonderful hospitality <laughs> and the cravat, <laughs> Mark <laughs> Owen. Oh, well, then we might That's get a cravat. <laughs> Do you have to ask nicely for that? The Hass, the Hasselhoff. Merci, danke. Thanks. The Hoff. That's classy. Three languages, one signature. It's very classy, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, well. All right. I'll give him a picture. At 10.37 precisely, we were summoned to meet with the Chief of Bruges. He'd obviously heard of the good work we were doing to promote Belgium. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Hello. It's not quite there. Hello, Your Holiness. We're Dom and Pete. I have been authorised to give you the keys of the kingdom, the keys of Bruges, the seven city keys for the seven city gates. Thank you very much. It's a great honour to us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do we get free beer with the keys? Free beer. Free beer. beer. Free drinks. Free drinks. Oh, free drinks. There's no drink for the ceremony. I'm afraid not. Okay. No. I, l I adore Belgium personally. I've become here a lot, but uh, our channel has only allowed us one day to film in Belgium because they don't think it's a proper country, and they think that the whole, uh, co the whole country yeah. in one day. And they've said that no one wants to watch things about Belgium. And I've said no, because I love Belgium. I love Tintin. I love Jacques Brel. I love mussels and chips. I love everything about it. But 
we are unfortunately pressed for time. So what should we do in Bruges? There are pubs here which have, uh, well, almost 300 kinds of beer. 300? 300, wow. 300 yes. Well, thank Excellent. you, my liege. Yeah. And uh, we shall travel on Bye. and we'll enjoy our day in your country. We decided to visit the 300 beer pub that the chief had recommended that evening. But that left us with a whole day to fill in Belgium. Now the guidebook just recommended we took a day trip to France, but we remembered we were journalists and decided to go undercover and become Belgians for the day. We were going to have fun, like only Belgians can have fun. Enjoying the montage? It's not really doing it for me. Why? Well, I don't think it's very sort of Belgian. Of course it's Belgian. We're in Belgium. I mean, it's a Belgian montage. Yeah, this is what Belgians get up to, and we're really getting into the heart of it. Really? Yeah, yeah, look. Watch the rest of it. <laughs> Being a Belgian wasn't as easy as it looked, so by the end of the montage, we were ready to sample some of the 300 varieties of beer on offer in the beautifully named Tobruk's Beach. Quite excited about Belgian beer. Can we see a, have you got a list of beers? Now this was what Belgium was all about. Yeah. Cheers, Mary. Cheers. Up yours. Oh, bloody hell. That's like Tizer with a kick. Is it? It's fantastic. Quite very good, actually. Oh, I like that very much. You don't have to swallow it in once. Why not? Well, We're English, though. Yeah. Well, just have to slow the pace. Really? Not only were there 300 different beers on offer, but there seemed to be a different glass to go with each one. We go for something special now. Here comes What's the quack. It? It's called quack. 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 Looks like the art of ale. Oh. Ah. Quack. That's it. What's that? A quack pipe. <laughs> quack. Didn't know that was illegal here. <laughs> uh, the proper way to drink it is to leave it in the wooden stand. It's more safe for everybody. Ah, <laughs> I see. Some fiendish Belgian has designed the quack glass with beer guzzling Brits in mind. It's impossible to down in one. <laughs> well, I can see it's slightly different because you can see it coming down at you. Can you not drink this fast then? Is that the idea? Or? That's the idea. You have to sip it. You have to enjoy it slowly. The suspiciously quaffed barmaid, Daisy, insisted that in order for us to become proper Belgian beer connoisseurs, we had to try as many of her beers as possible. As the evening progressed, it seemed I was slowly becoming the Jilly Goulden of beer tasting. Is it good? Yeah, it's kind of like... um. It's like cherry aid with a punch in the face. Oh, I like that. Uh, oh, that's a lady. That's more in the Hoe Garden area. Sort of thing. Yeah, it is yeah, Hoe Garden. Like, exactly. I imagine this one on a on a canal boat with a couple of Belgian lovelies. You see what I mean? Yeah, we can, yes, on a hot summer's day. That's why it's nice. Yeah. That's beer. Belgians like their beer strong, very strong. But as a professional journalist, mm. I was determined to see the job through. After extensive research, it was time to deliver my professional verdict. In sipping and not just downing in that sort of lager like way, you really do start to appreciate beers as they're meant to be, rather than just as a way of getting drunk. So maybe, in a way, they've got it right, and we should start to appreciate beers a bit more. I mean, journalistically, I think it's quite an interesting thing to have discovered. OK, I think it's a nice journey in sipping. I want to go home now, please. <laughs> The next morning, 